So let's get you caught up on another major story that we are following. The impeachment trial of President Trump continues on Capitol Hill. Natasha Brown is in the news center with today's developments. Natasha. Well, good evening to you both. It is the second day of opening presentations for President Trump's legal team, but bombshell revelations from one of the president's former top advisors could threaten their argument. Meantime, today did get off to a bipartisan note. I'm sure this is exactly how you would plan to celebrate the day. Senators began the sixth day of the impeachment trial wishing Chief Justice John Roberts a happy 65th birthday. Then they resumed listening to the president's lawyers lay out his legal defense. Were crimes alleged in the articles in the common law of presidential impeachment? In Nixon, yes. In Clinton, yes. Here, no. They say they have proven each of the articles against President Trump. They have not. Over the weekend, the New York Times reported former National Security Advisor John Bolton writes in his upcoming book that the president told him he wanted, quote, to continue freezing $391 million in security assistance to Ukraine until officials there helped with investigations into Democrats, including the Bidens. Thank you very much. President Trump denied the allegations during a White House meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister. Democrats say this latest revelation bolsters their calls for Bolton and other new witness testimony in the Senate trial. We have a witness with first-hand evidence of the president's actions for which he is on trial. He is ready and willing to testify. It's relevant, and therefore I'd like to hear it. Utah Senator Mitt Romney says he believes some of his fellow Republicans could join Democrats in a future vote to call Bolton as a witness. Other GOP senators have told CBS News they believe Bolton is, quote, disgruntled, and he is just, quote, trying to sell a book. Well, Bolton does blame the White House now for the leak of details from his manuscript. Meantime, officials reviewed it for classified information. Bolton has said that he is willing to testify in the Senate trial. That's the very latest live here in the News Center. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you.